students uh, in this module this i'll be talking about certain things they matter and they matter a lot in the context of a web based database applications in the context of bringing the data on the web remember that the systems uh, have been around the database systems these systems predate the web there are issues because those systems were not meant to bring the data on the web or to make web enabled database applications which i have also touched upon in the prior module so i'll talk about it more in this module i will also discuss in this module the ddl data definition language or the commands of the sql uh, which which are insert update and delete and of course i will talk more about them so this is the whole which uh, i will be covering in this module and this is the coverage of this module so i would again suggest you because uh, i will i am covering the key points discovering and discussing with you the key points now it is your duty and as a student to read the notes to understand and comprehend and of course if you have queries you can raise the queries understand so let's now go ahead why this matters it matters because uh, queries may already exist this is fine this is very good that i have to bring a database on the web and the queries exist very wonderful this is very nice but the thing is may not be able to create the queries the queries don't exist this is which is more of a reality the queries don't exist and either uh, unable to uh, create the queries as a web developer or queries don't exist at all if those queries are not provided so if there are no queries it's a big question mark then how to bring the data on the web okay when the database people cannot provide you the queries and you cannot uh, convert those queries into a web environment you have to work on it then there are the standard queries then it is fine standard queries is that you are displaying multiple things or one thing or so on so those standard queries can be implemented that is a one way out and then there are the specialized queries focused on making a selection based upon certain selection criteria and why this matters because tables and field names are needed the thing is that field names may be misleading so for example there are two tables and they have the same field name but their meanings are different there can be many examples okay and so this is misleading so you cannot just look at the field names and you can conclude that the field names are same so they are their their meaning is also same that may not be true and there is no uniformity if you are a new person uh, uh, believe it and you should experience it there is no uniformity in the things and users are wanting to refine the database which you have designed so these are some of the rea realities of bringing your database to the web why these things matter common keys may not exist or match okay remember that uh, in the previous module as we spoke about connecting the tables to avoid the duplication on those common keys which is the primary key now the primary key may not exist okay or they don't match did that the data which needs to be displayed on your website has not been collected has not been organized has not been accumulated for this purpose and the accounting people or the accounting system or the payroll system or the inventory system those those systems don't talk to each other this is the domain of data warehousing okay which is the course cs614 so web based database it is a collaborative effort so this is a fence so you have these uh, database people at one one end and you have yourself which is the web people at one end uh, across the fence so you have to cross this fence and those that fence can be crossed used using the queries and communicate and understand the problems and the needs of the database people and uh, and of course you you have to translate those the what you get into the web queries and ensure one thing that make all parties happy make all parties happy who are the parties the parties are the database people who provide you the queries the party is your customer also the customer for which you are developing that application the party is those people who come on the website which is a very public area to view the results or to get the results they are interested in i think you understand now 
to the ddl statements insert delete and update uh nothing uh, not to explain not to give a lot of details over here but the thing is that uh, it is validated means it is validated means that uh, you have to ensure that what is being sent to the server to do the operation okay that has to be checked and of course this data is collected by the user form for example if the is somebody is inserting the data okay uh, we are re re remember i am talking about those old databases so you you cannot offer uh, buttons or drop down menus and all that kind of useful functionality so it's a box in which the user types in the text which needs to be entered so needs to be validated and the difference between this is that it modifies the existing rows okay now uh, create has a number of flavors also for example using the create uh, you can create the views over here you can create the indices also so a view is like a temporary table which actually does not exist but it is not known to the user that it is uh, it doesn't exist so whenever a query is run on the view that the view is generated okay and of course uh, indices are not created by the user and the end user the indices are created by the database administrator which speed up the database access make it quick okay and unless and, and unless it is sluggish okay it, it is not your do, domain to talk to the somebody who will talk to the database administrator to make the things run faster so that is all i have for this module